Right. Well, welcome. Uh, frankly, I'm a little bit scared. The chef serving me today isn't a notable one. He's not very experienced. And to be quite honest with you, he hasn't washed his chicken. And just between you and me, I don't even know if he's washed his hands. Since we're in this whole lockdown period again, continuously, I thought I would I would gain some skills. You know, I've always wanted to be a cook ever since I was young. You know, my sister knows of my gourmet cooking, my wonderful fillet fishes, and uh, the other stuff that I cooked. Flashback to the cappuccino the, episode. The, oh, the, yes, the dalgona. The dalgona one. Well, the menu is, I believe, tacos, which. Um, I'll be honest, I have a weak spot for. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Right. So, I'm gonna basically do that, wash my hands, get the chicken, and then uh, yeah, keep the show rolling. Yeah, of course, start start with that. Yeah. This is gonna be a disaster. I've already washed the chicken and all of that stuff, and now we are going to season it, because seasoning the chicken is always the most important part. What's that for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, basically, I'm going to put this in, and then uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. Gotta massage the chicken. You gotta get into the shoulders. You know, it died for me, for this moment, for us. So, Shark's here is obviously very, very tense. It's the first time really cooking on camera and showing us his skills, so let's see what he's got. So basically, we're going to get a quick cheeky teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. Uh, a dash of the paprika. Uh, some garlic pepper seasoning. We're going to add uh, just a bit more of this fella. As long as the seasoning is right. And now, of course, salt. We get back to the massaging. Mm. Get back to the caressing. They often ask. What's the secret to a good taco? Well, apart from the taste, it's the the aura, the culture. Everything. My time in Puerto Rico was essential for being able to accomplish that. And now, Sharks has the magnificent task of trying to replicate that. Let's see where we go with it. I learned it from the aunties that make the best type of food. Mm. You know what I mean? It's the ones that have the you know, fat hair underneath the arm. Oh. They're the best oh. ones. Oh, best ones to learn from. I, I, in Puerto Rico, mm. full of them. Indeed. Got a quick knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Lettuce. <laughs> Lettuce who? Lettuce in and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, uh, get your head in the game. Lettuce is, uh, oh. that, was a, <laughs> that was the coolest move. I was like, get this move here. Oof. You're, doing, you're actually doing a good job. <laughs> Oh! oh! The reason why I'm making these tacos really and truly, let's get deep here. COVID-19 has been a very hard time for all of us. All of us have been getting skinnier. Look at me, I'm barely here anymore. If I turn to the side, that's it, I'm invisible. But my younger brother, he's doing less than me. <laughs> he looks like Voldemort. If Voldemort dipped his head in ink. I heard that if you pay two pounds a month, you can actually sponsor your younger brother, is that correct? Yeah, I'm sponsoring him as we speak. So, basically we're gonna get a bit of olive oil. Gonna make sure that the pan is well smeared. Look at this lighter. Okay, it's like a jet engine. And uh, while we wait for the heat to simmer up, would you like to do a bit of smoke? <laughs> Maybe I should've got a bigger pan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I want to make a quick disclaimer. Usually people use grounded beef or like minced meat and all of that stuff here, but that's for children. I wanted to come out here and make you with actual good whole succulent chicken meat. Shimaki. Yeah. I have to say, you put that in the pan and that smells delicious. <laughs> Gonna let it caramelize. Um, Gotta get a little dash. Little dash! Make sure it's always a dash! Go on, 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 go
How is it? How is it? God damn it! How is it? It's fantastic. It's the best chicken I've ever had. So now basically what I'm gonna do, what I'm basically gonna do is I'm just gonna add two cheeky little spoonfuls of this tomato paste. Oh, that's all coming together now, Dorothy. Now I have to put the fresh bit of onions on because the other ones here have all melted and gotten and withered away just that's like some people's careers. But we need fresh ones. Right, so we're back again. I'm really looking forward to this. He's blown me away. Can we get the extra soup and the souffle? Wonderful, wonderful. You can hear him in the back uh, shouting, yes, shouting at his assistants who happen to be his family members. He's, he's now put down on his payroll. This is the moment of truth. Is he gonna earn his spot in one of my new restaurants? Let's find out. Uh, here is the final chicken piece. Look at it. Oh. Deliciously cut. I'm gonna have this Cajun and uh, my mayonnaise to be to be the base of the taco. And then we're gonna microwave these tacos, sew it up a bit because it hasn't been seasoned. So spread it about a bit. If it doesn't make this kind of splat, then you haven't done it right. You gotta roll up the uh, the lime. You gotta get the juices going. You gotta. You gotta release the pores, you know what I mean? Got a... So now I'm basically going to base it with the lovely sauce that I made. Just the delicate, delicatessen pouring. Say, that chicken does look lovely. I have worked two mm. for nail for it. Sprinkle the lettuce. Would you like a bit of cheese on top? Um, um, personally for me, I'm on a bit of a diet. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave out the cheese, but I am gonna try that lovely looking taco. Look at it, look at where it stands. Wow. As though it was made to stand the test of Stun. time. Damn, I need one more spoon. Sous chef! I have one of those now. Just to give it a little bit of melanin. And then just a little bit of, little bit of, you know when they go like this. <coughs> We normally go randomly like this. And a bit of... <laughs> it actually doesn't look half bad. I think we might have saved it with less. So, uh, this is it. This is what all my hard work, all the struggle, the strife in the kitchen, all the running around, all the smoke in my eyes, all the onion making me cry. All of this was for this moment right here. For Sid. Bit of spoken word there actually. Was really there. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was really good. good. I couldn't believe it. I, yeah. As I was saying, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> so he's going to basically critique it now. Um, out of out of what? What are you going to? Uh, presentation, first and foremost. Um, creativity mm. and taste, of course, and the taste. most important factor. Like I said, first time making tacos, um, and I and I hope uh, hope you enjoy it, man. That's just really just in regards to presentation, you can see, you know, an effort's certainly been put in here. Um, see a little dash, a little garnish there as well, yeah. support that. In regards to creativity, I can see that you've tried to put in a lot of flavours here. Yeah. We've really tried to um, make it more authentic, and that's something that I've got to applaud you for. So for that, I'm going to give it a good. And what is it, what is it again? Good what? what? Yeah. This is going to be measured out of very bad, bad, neutral, good, or very good. Very good. Okay. Oh, seconds! Is that tears? Are you, are you crying right now? I'm crying right now. So, um, I was initially going to ask you if you wanted a job at my restaurant, but now I'm just going to hand the whole thing over. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow, I'll this be is honest exactly, with you. yeah, this is, that is exactly the reaction I was looking for. Especially my first time making this thing. Mm -hmm. At the tender age of 42, I mean, this is exactly what. That's what I wanted. The chicken was, is perfect. Uh, the chicken yeah, is not. Right. If the chicken wasn't perfect, it, the chicken isn't overcooked. Mm. The chicken isn't overcooked, and it isn't undercooked. And there's a lot of sauces in there, or two, sorry, but they kind of meld well with the um, mm, we'll with the flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I'm biting into it, I'm biting, like I can feel both of them, and together, it blends well. As with, one. Yeah, and when it comes together, together as one, and, and with its magnificence, union. 
you know, what is magnificent union? You know, we, we found something fantastic. And that fantastic thing is tacos. You've, you've, you've made you it into something much. amazing. Man. That is exactly I've what got I've got to say. Like, um, hey, man, you enjoy the rest of your yep, tacos while I, I outro this whole thing. I'd like to say what a fantastic first day experience that was for me making tacos. To be fair, I thought it wasn't going to be that great, but I am glad that it was beyond great. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for watching till the end. I've been your host, Sharks Polaroid, and if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see me cook or have a go at. Um, and with that, I would like to say we'll see you guys soon. That's nice, I'll tell you. I'll give it to you, but that's nice.